it's Chill. Welcome back to another unboxing, specifically a zine. And I'm so excited for this one. Like, you have no idea. Because this is of a series that I extremely love. It's in my top 9 animes. And I am. Oh, I'm just. I'm ready. Oh, but just getting right into it. Because I don't know if I can be. Hold back any longer. I didn't even know it was going to be delivered today. It just delivered and it's only like 1 o'clock in the day. I thought it would be delivered either tomorrow or Monday. And usually the mail comes at like 5 o'clock-ish when I go to work. So I have to wait till literally I come home. But no, it's only a Thursday. And it's like at 12 o'clock. I was like, holy shit. Let's do the review. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Helpful it is, but it is wrapped very nicely. It's got the bubble. It's much smaller than I thought it was. I mean, I guess compared now to the big uh, high Q criminal zine, everything's just gonna look small because that's like the expectation for the size of the book I have now. But like, a small book is, does not mean it's a bad book. I got the full bundle for this zine and I'm so happy. One, two. Oh. It's still, oh wow, great packaging, oh my goodness, I love the red and black theme and the gold, whoa, and then here's the merch, oh, so if you couldn't already tell from the two characters on the front, which is out of blur, damn it, if you can come kind of tell from the silhouettes, we have Dororo, and I freaking love Dororo, oh my gosh, oh, it's so, so underrated, it's so not appreciated enough, and it's just overshadowed by Demon Slayer and I'm so upset because I love Dodoro more than Demon Slayer and I will sleep on that rock or however the saying goes. Uh, let's get into the merch first and then we'll go into the very beautifully wrapped zine. Uh, I guess you should probably explain what Dodoro is about because it is so underrated and where to watch it because you should watch it legally so people can support it more the artists who worked on it can get more love so it's not about this lord but there is a Japanese uh, Fudo lord whose land is going to um, shit basically he makes deal with demons that he'll sacrifice whatever they want so his land can prosper and you know he can continue being a lord and being successful and so when his first son is born which is uh, Hakimaru uh, they decide to take his child and the demons there's like 12 of them and this is an anime uh, decide to take him apart by pieces so a demon will take the eyes, a demon will take the skin, a demon will take an arm and a leg etc um, but the 12th demon was not able to get his reward so the baby ends up still living Despite missing a lot of its important pieces, um, it has the will to live still. Uh, Hakimaru is out killing demons to get all his body parts back because he wants to become human. And Doro is this child who is a traveling companion of uh, Hakimaru on his journeys to regain his parts. Similar to, I guess, Demon Slayer, he's a demon but he's trying to become human. Um, but he kind of loses his humanity while doing so. And it's such a well told story. It's made by MAPPA. It's more episodic though, so I'm not really a big fan of episodic things. But I just love the... You can kind of see uh, Hakimaru's so descent into being a real monster. And uh, the emotional impact and everything is so good. And the music is so good. I love the opening for it as well. The first opening. Oh my god. You need to go watch the first take of it. You know the Japanese, uh, I guess music channel where it does the first take where artists go in there do literally only one take of their song and they just put it out there it's super good i love the daughter opening for that i highly recommend it i'll leave it in the description i love art style i love how the character designs are the animation is really really good in terms of fighting uh i wish the quality and the animation the color palette was like more pop in the later half but other than that, it's just Dodoro is so like almost perfect to me. If you didn't watch my, um, I think it was like 2019 video of all the anime I watched in 2019, I talked about Dodoro a lot in there and I was very emotional on that and I was very fired up. And over time, just like thinking about it and rewatching it, I'm just like, Dodoro is so good, it's so worth it. You can watch it on Amazon Prime Video, 
I know it's a bitch, but if you have Prime, you have no excuse to do it. I feel like most people have Amazon Prime, so like, go watch the anime, bruh. Another Dororo merch, which is the Dororo uh, Blu-ray set. And I am so excited for it to come in, because it's just like, I can finally watch Dororo whenever I want. Now I did get the full bundle, which I believe is the bone porcelain. I was surprised about all the merch that was like being put out because they didn't really advertise it uh, or didn't release the full details of the bundles until like the day of this uh, pre-orders opening. So I had no idea it was going to be like this much stuff. So when it did happen, I was like, God damn. <laughs> and it was all really cheap too. I think everything was either 40 or 65 dollars like, or 45 or 65 I'll, leave, I'll put on the screen how much I paid or how much the bundle is so cool oh I think there's more stuff in here actually Cause, yeah there's more merch in here but I'll get to that later I guess because I noticed that we are a little short on some things for now we're looking at the big bulky physical merch so let's start with this really cute notebook Doo -doo -doo. oh my god it is so cute it is cardboard bag, which is really nice, really sturdy. The print job looks amazing. It's so cute. <sighs> great space, great theme. And it's not like, it's not a lot of people can print to the memo pack from the uh, Haikyuu Kimono zine, but it's still really nice. It's a good bit. I really like it. The quality of the paper seems really thick as well. Whoa, that's thick. That would be the thickest one we've had. It's really not too big, not too small. I think it's just the perfect size for a notepad, so I ain't mad about it. Let's put it to the corner and get our little spread going. Now let's do the buttons first, or next, because there's only two right now. Yep. And we have one of Dororo. Super freaking cute. Probably spoiler alert. And then we have one of Hakimaru, which I love these buttons because it's the ending scene of them. Uh, probably reuniting. I find that really adorable. I love these. I don't do much with can uh, badges, uh, so we'll see. But these are really big, so I'll probably get put them somewhere on my desk or somewhere hooked up. I think they're great quality. I can't speak too much about can badges. They're kind of, I feel like, easy to make. And they look perfectly sealed and everything. Nothing wrong. The print quality is pretty good on them. Next to the enamel pin, which I had to buy separately because unfortunately we couldn't reach all our stretch goals. Oh, I wish this thing got so much more support because it's just so much good stuff. I, that's why I was talking about like the advertising earlier. They should have advertised it more so I can get more attention sooner. Thankfully, they were willing to uh, sell them separately. And I love this pin. It's just like Hakimaru's arm or prosthetic arm with like the spider lilies that's associated with um, Dororo. I like the gold accents to it. Next are the washi tape. And I freaking adore this washi tape. Ah, okay, let's open it. I love washi tape, but I have no reason to use any of them, but I just love to collect them. I feel like it's most people with washi tape these days. <laughs> you find really cool washi tape, but you don't have any reason to use them. I don't journal at the moment right now. Oh my god, look how cute that is! Oh, I love to go out, love the blue wispy clouds. It's just like basically to Hakimaru and Dororo camping. It is a massive roll though. <laughs> it's huge. I, maybe it's almost, yeah, it's inch wide. We have our three charms and I am so... <laughs> oh, I cry. I love Dororo so much. <gasps> okay. So, I believe all of these are double-sided, so let's all go ahead and open them. I'm not being dramatic when I say I'm gonna cry, like I'm legit probably gonna cry. Oops! Cause I... Oh my god, my heart. First charm we have is just Hakimaru and it's his sword. Now we have one side that's clean and him, and the other side is bloody. I like that. It's so freaking cute. Oh! It's a freaking adorable charm itself. It's like covered in plastic entirely so it's not gonna scrape or fall off i had a charm like that that i got from a store the image was just like glued on i guess to the acrylic part of it and so it would chip off every time it came to the surface so they paid six dollars for it and honestly it should have been, it's been worth two dollars this is completely covered in plastic so it's not gonna scratch too bad it might get scratched on the outside but and at least the image won't go out to the next one which i believe this is a double-sided one. I believe this one's really cute as well because it has like both of the characters. Yep, I was right. Oh, 
this one's cute. Okay, so we have Hakimaru on one side, and we have Dororo on the other side, and they're just chilling, singing together. And that is so freaking precious. Oh my god. This art style is super cute too. I like the more like kind of Japanese styled or like choreography styled uh, line art. Same idea with the whole covered on both sides of plastic, image enclosed. To our last acrylic charm, we have both characters again. And it, they are under a cherry blossom tree and they are doing butterflies. And gestures and a little butterfly is on oh, Hakimaru's face. So cute. I saw this one on the production update. I like how it's framed in a circle. I love the cherry blossom tree. Makes it really pop and really cute. The art style is super, super cute as well. Moving on to this very beautifully wrapped book, and I'm assuming Pippi March is in there as well. I honestly don't want to take it apart just because it looks so well wrapped. And I'm a person who hates this drawer wrapping. Oh my god, why do you do this to me? But. We'll try and see if we can maybe just slip it out. Oh, he slid out, baby. Come on. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. It's going. There we go. Oh, that's why it didn't come out easily. It was taped. All right. One, two. Oh. Man. Out of focus, but fuck. It's so good. I zoomed in even more because it was like not doing justice to Toro. Oh, alrighty. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, look how freaking luxurious that looks. Oh shit. Okay. Paper merch and then the book itself. Oh, okay. So the thing with the gold tassel is this bookmark. The art shell is so good. Look at that. Oh my god. The cut is a little weird, but I ain't too mad about it. Let's go on to the uh, stickers. So we have this one, which is uh, the first 50 orders get a free sticker, and I was one of them. I like the fire, I like how it frames him, I like the art style. Oh, it's so cool, I love it. Put you there. And I like this one as well. I'm not sure what that says in the, uh, I think it might be katakana, actually, but I super find it cute. Look at, oh, look how adorable they are. And then we have, oh, these aren't the got die cut stickers, these are the character cards. Whoa! Oh my god! Look at that one! Oh my god! That's so dope! Oh, I love that! Now, they're smaller than what I expected, but like the quality on them and like the foil, that is so nice! They're like Pokemon cards! <laughs> That's so cool! And the art so Oh my god! Oh wow, that's so nice. I love this one too, the Mew. Oh, my heart. And then these two are super nice as well. Look how nice like that. Oh my god, they're super nice. Oh, with his mom, dad, and his mom. That would be so cute. They need to make like a spin-off series or like someone should make a doujin of like this family together when they're younger growing up. Forget the dad, have this as the dad instead and just have them as a family. That'd be so freaking cute. And they have like Dora as their younger sibling. Oh, I need a doujin sheep. When I see fan art of them younger growing up together, I'm just like, no, my heart. It's so good. We have the thank you card. Simple, all oh, cute Polaroid of Chibi. Uh, Hakimaru defeating all the little monsters and little shark guy. I think it's the same art style as the notebook one looks like. I freaking find it adorable. Oh, this one was also a stretch goal and I freaking love it. So cute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then this one is so cool because of the colors. Oh my god. My heart is just like 
pulsating right now. I'm gonna go into cardiac arrest because it's just so freaking cute. Lastly, for merch, we have these sticker sheets. I am so happy. Let's look at this one first because I this one is freaking cool as hell. Look at that. It's all the monsters from the series. And we even have like baby Dodoro when he is like... His body was taken apart and he had like no prosthetics or anything to cover him up. I love this one. The second I saw it, I was like, that's freaking cool. So good. So good, so good. And then, oh my god, I, when I saw the sticker sheet, I knew I had to have it at least. Because I was just like, fuck, it's so cute. It's so freaking cute. <laughs> oh my god, I like the, he had the older art style of like, I forgot who the author's name was. Fuck. But um, I like how they have the older art style and then they have the more modern uh, character redesign. And then they have the freaking hair tie. Like, oh my god. That's the best. Like, I love it when he has the little hair tie on to like, cover his ears when he gets his ears back. Because it's like so freaking cute. Oh my god. And then you have like the little daughter. Oh. And he's. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I get this one too. <laughs> Oh, I, I miss Dodoro so much. I'm legit crying. I'm so happy. <laughs> ah! Oh, fuck. The cut is really good on them as well. They're not like separated or anything. I don't think I'm ever gonna use the stickers on this one because I'm just like, unless I order like five more, I'm never gonna use them because I'm just like, no, I don't wanna mess with you or lose you or like get you dirty because. Oh. Moving on to the zine. I'm so. Excited. I have no idea what the contents are, but I do know that the cover was actually a woodblock design and they have a video of that on their Twitter and it looks so freaking good. It's soft, matte soft finish. I love that. The art style is super cool. I love the woodblock idea. Like, it brings so much more to it, to the table. The front is kind of like the present and it's the past. So super nice. The edges of the book are a little rough. But the, it feels like pretty good quality. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to look through this real quick. It is so gorgeous. The artwork is so good. I can't emphasize that anymore because I'm just like blown away. Like, I had no idea what to expect coming out of this because I didn't promote it too, too much. But from what I could see, the art looked really, really good. There's a lot of good art styles and a lot of variety of art, a lot of artists, a lot of great pieces in there. Now, fanfic-wise, if you've seen my other past zine unboxings, I'm not the biggest uh, reader of fan art. But this one is not too bad in terms of fanfic quality. It's kind of almost 50-50. Um... From the start of the zine, the fanfic's a little bit shorter towards the end of the book. It's a little bit longer. I like that during the fanflicks, there's also a page of illustration in between to illustrate what's going on. I feel like it's following pretty canon to the series, so basically it's kind of like taking the Dororo series and like uh, having artists draw it in their styles and to like shorten it and just relive the memories of it and I like the idea because it does follow like it goes from Dodoro when he's really really young to adulthood I find that great it's like a great way to remember all the characters all the big moments in there but I love the theme of it I love also the charity they're giving to which is like Limbs for Life uh, foundation. It matches Dodo so well with the whole prosthetic arms and legs. Uh, please support the zine if you can. Pretty good quality all across the board. I can't complain. And I extremely, 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 if you couldn't tell from this video already, love it. I'm probably sure I've already said it so many times because I'm just like so ecstatic. Not even just for like this because it's Dodo, but also like this like cool art style, cool things all over. They're doing a um, after sale, I didn't think they would because they didn't get too much support, sadly. Uh, but they are, so because they got a lot of people finding it after pre-orders. I'm so happy. I hope they get a lot of after sale orders. So worth it, especially for what the cost I got it. Whether it's $60 or $40, $60 is still pretty good for all of this. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the zine. Stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you guys. In the next video, bye bye. Oop, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs>